because you know, it starts with something simple like soil. And last week, we released what we call the topsoil primer set, long policy and technical, really the distillation of the experience of three leading municipalities in this province, Surrey, North Van District, and the city of Corby on the island. Because we say in terms of of making fundamental changes that it gets towards water sustainability, if we can't get the soil depth issue right, then it'll be very difficult to get other issues right. And the significance of talking about soil depth, you've probably all seen a construction site or a subdivision where you know historically they'd go in and strip all the topsoil and put down a layer of sod and you know you just keep pouring the water on. Well if you think in terms of the fact that about half of our water supply goes into watering your gardens. That's a huge implication if you have a reasonable soil depth because, you know, it's a sponge. So if you have the sponge, it helps you achieve sustainability supply. It starts with every piece of property. The other side of the equation is drainage in terms of how water comes off the land. If you strip the soil off and you pour the water on, that's one thing in the summertime, but when it's raining in our climate, it's coming off. What does water coming off the land do? Well, it erodes, streams, it impacts on the sustainability of aquatic habitat. So, soil, soil depth, how much soil you have in your piece of property is a cornerstone or foundation block of how we get towards water sustainability. So, keep 